my pocket. Take it. Okay, next part. You tie one end to me and hold on to the other end. And that way, no matter what, I'll be able to find my way back to you. Now, don't be scared. Tom, be careful. Dude, she's obviously scared as hell. I kind of wish this episode had a behind the scenes featurette. Wait a second. That looks familiar. That's literally the park. Practically. They just, like, used part of the park. Uh, when they, like, trying to get out of that hole. Yep. That's an empty grave, all right. I can't believe it. <laughs> Ellen, you want to handle this? Go away. All of you. Not until we find out what you're doing here. I've come back oh, from God, this is scary. What are you talking about? things in the grave. Come back for them, that's all. There's a person buried here. No, it's not like that. The, the coffin wasn't for a person. What was it for, then? It's what? a place for safekeeping. I just can't get rid of you people, can I? I might as well show you. Oh my god. Don't do it, it's a trap! Oh, it's not. <laughs> there was an immigrant family that came to this country sometime in the 1840s. They ended up here. When Oakdale was barely Oakdale. They tried to start a farm. Aw, if only I can get my they hearing back. But before they did, they buried their valuables. Why would they bury their valuables like that? I always bury my valuables. Makes perfect sense to me. It was an act of faith. You leave behind what you love and you're bound to return to it. They hope to come back and try the farm again. Aw, oh, that's well, nice. So that no one would disturb it. Not even by accident. Well, it certainly worked. And they never made it back. No. Hey, do you think I should do a reaction to Mother Goose Rock and Rhyme? But I did. That'd be good. I'm their great-grandson, Simon Laszlo. How did you know about this place? From a story that my parents and my grandparents always told. I decided to come back and see if there was any truth to it. I especially hope to find this. Do you play? I do. Mr. Laszlo, I'm Wanda Gilmore of the Oakdale Historical Society, and... Blah, 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 I big deal. <laughs> Well, that is important archives. later on in the series. Yeah. Now we have the real story of the no-name. But yeah. Um, Mr. Laszlo, we're having a picnic in the park this afternoon. It's kind of an annual neighborhood event. Would you please come and be our guest? All right. Great. Yo, does anyone so remember sure open season? Tom, I'm like the only one who remembers too. that. And Becky home safe. Crazy Joe wasn't so lucky. Good afternoon, Miss Polly. Judge Thatcher, good afternoon. Tom? I've come to tell you not to worry anymore about Crazy Joe coming after you. We found him dead in the cave. Reckon he had it coming to him. Mm -hmm. Won't you come in for a minute, Judge? Well, thank you. I believe I will. Some unfinished business in that cave. Huck! Huck, Finn! I know where the treasure is. What? Huck, it's in the cave. Are you sure? I know it. This is it, Huck. This is it. This is where I saw. sing that song. <laughs> Oh, see, sounds get sillier when you hear them cross. all again. Remember? And maybe you're hearing that Let echo, or maybe it's only a friend. Oh my god, we're rich. 
day. Tarara boom day. Tarara boom day. I hate this song so much, so I'm gonna stop singing. Oh my god, this song's worse. Has anyone heard of It's Itsy Bitsy Time? It was a show made by the same people who distributed Teletubbies in America. And they like had all these uh, shows imported from other countries. Like they put like all these shows, each episode is like five minutes long. They put them all into one whole show, practically. It's considered to be rare, practically. Like it's one of the rarest shows ever. I don't know if I should do a video about it, but yeah. So, Widow Douglas here has decided to give Huck a proper home and teach him how to be respectable. So, Huckleberry Finn, welcome to your new life. Yay. Yay, whatever. After a few weeks of living a respectable life, Huck couldn't take it anymore. He disappeared oh. from town, and no one could find him, except for Tom, who knew what, what are all these clothes lying around? Huck? I see pants. I swear to God, if he's yeah, naked. Now, oh my God, that's so weird. Back to the Widow Douglas. But everybody's worried sick. Wait, did they ever catch the bad guys, though? I forget. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. Please tell me there isn't a sequel. Cause if it did, if there is, I probably would get Hoodwink 2. Hoodwink 2. Yeah, 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 you know it. One of the worst sequels ever. And now it's time for the Wishbone Floor Show. I'm that line is much different in the trailer. I swear to God, it sounds different. Look, Dad, it's Wishbone. When the cute angle fails, you go for the guilt. Oh my God. I only noticed this recently, but Wishbone looks just like Little Dog Fido from, uh, Booba. I swear to god, if I have to do a Booba reaction video... <laughs> oh god. Maybe I could do a Let's Play of a Booba CD-ROM game that I have. It's a itsy bitsy time. It's a itsy bitsy time. It's time to say goodbye. I don't know the worst of the song. Emily, go easy. Don't pull on Wishbone's tail like you did the other day. Nice, doggy. Nice, Emily. Oh my God, Emily. <laughs> well, this has been lovely, but I gotta go. What would a Wishbone and Barney crossover be like, actually? I'd like to know. Now that's funny. At the buffet table. Ooh, squeaky book. I can't leave this out in the open. I just better put this out place safe. Come here. It's a bitsy bitsy time. I don't know why I'm singing this. If I could have everyone's attention for a minute. Why am I singing It's It'sy Bitsy Time? That, that, that show? Like, I don't even know anyone who remembers that show. I don't, I've never saw that show, to be honest, but I don't, I know no one who even knows about that show. Thank you, Nathan. 
But yeah. Well, you all know me and my son Joe, and our dog Wishbone. I'm sure you've all fed him at least once today. <gasps> Who told her that? You know, on a day like this. Who told her that? I look around at all of you, and, uh -huh. and I see stories. And today we have a new neighborhood story, the real story of the no-name grave. Oh, my God. It was a family legend that brought Mr. Laszlo to the no-name grave. And a ghost story brought my son and his friends there. So there's episodes and, and I even got to play I Love there. You. That's so supposed to be a thing in the Barney series, so why can't it be a thing in this show? That's what stories do. I love they you. To the same place. You love me. And this neighborhood is We're best friends like friends should it's be. I'm so sorry that I sang that. I mean, it's Lyric Studios. I expect all Lyric Studio shows to sing that song. In fact, I actually watched this uh, video called Preparing for the Buyer's Eyes, where these, uh, these, this couple is, like, getting ready uh, to, like, move out of the house and sell the house to, uh, like, some buyers, apparently. And, like... I kind of imagined that video having the Backyard Gang theme song. <laughs> yeah, and it was because it was made by the same people who made Barney and the Backyard Gang. Yeah. Ah, now the episode ends. There's no behind-the-scenes featurette. I don't know the words of the song. Uh oh. I think the video's messed up. Yep, the video's definitely messed up. It's like just showing these end credits just like that. But I know what trailer comes at the end. It's like a trailer for a video game that I've seen videos of. Oh my god, he has a CD-ROM game? Ah, I'm animated! Oh, come on, that ain't that bad. What, what do you think I should do? I think we should end the video already. <laughs> From your friends at Hit Entertainment. I'm sorry, I just had to. Oh, that's it for Wishbone. That's it for today. See you later. Yep.